Welcome back to the Airport Project. Now, if you're just joining us, this is our permanent metal truss building that we're putting together to cover our renovated vintage Airstream. And this is step nine in the series. So if you're interested in what we've done in the previous videos, just check out the playlist here. Today is a bit of a grab bag. We have several things that we need to cover in today's video. First, we're gonna be putting in our 3000 gallon water tank into the hole that we've previously dug. Mm. We also need to plumb that out of the tank and up to where our pump house will eventually be. And then we kind of decided at the last minute to go ahead and finish the downspouts into the fresh tank and start getting ready for that pump house build. Yeah, a lot of things covered in this video, so just sit back and enjoy the show. That was dumb. <laughs> Okay, our last major goal for the day is to get that water tank, roll it up here and get it set into place into this pit because we have the pea gravel laid down. And if it starts raining, those walls are gonna start caving in. What we don't want is sharp rocks to get underneath that because we need to get a bunch of weight. You could put a hole in the tank. Anyway, all that to say, before it rains, we've gotta get that tank in here. So we're probably not gonna do any plumbing or anything like that. We just wanna get it in for when it starts raining more. Turn it to where it's it, we can roll it straight up. Does that make sense? All right, ready? Overalls are out, it means business. Uh-oh. Business is happening today. So, you were gone for a little bit. Yeah. And I worked on this whole situation, mm -hmm. which I'm glad you didn't see the footage for that, because, well. So, it needs a little adjustment. It's just slightly unlevel, not much. Yeah, it depends on, I mean, the tank is, it's not perfectly straight up and down, so mm -hmm. when we were checking it, when we did it, it looked okay, but then walking up to it, like looking at it from certain angles, we're like, eh, let's check it again. So it needs to, I think it needs to go back a little, mm -hmm. come forward. Way. Okay. So I'm going to push against it. We'll just get some more rock under there, get it kind of, or some more, not just rock. What do we call it? Pea gravel. Pea gravel. That's the first step. Yep. Then we've got to figure out our whole sort of water outlet situation on the bottom. Yep. And that's going to be a whole thing. Yeah, we'll talk about it as we go. Ready? Yeah, let's, let's level it first. Let's just, yeah, one thing at a time, babe. Don't go ahead of yourself.
Okay. Some more improvising going on here. Um, we have to come out of this tank down at the bottom with the ball valve. But we want to be able to access it even though it's three feet underground. So we couldn't find anything tall enough. So we're going to take three of these and stack them up so that we can still reach down and get access. But it also means that we're going to have to drill some holes in these and cover up some of the holes and going to do a bunch of things to get this to come out and then up and then over to where we're going to put the This is in, however, we're a little worried about gluing anything to this before at least filling the water up above this to make sure that it doesn't leak. So um, I want to check that ball valve first. Yeah, really it's all the, because there's like four threaded connections here yeah. and we didn't do all of them, but because this came from Oasis Water Harvesting, but we did put one of them in and then we did, you know, actually put it into the fitting. I don't know. I'm just paranoid it's going to be like leaking down there. So I think we're going to fill up our tank with some water, transfer it in here now that we can make sure that it doesn't come out with the ball valve and make sure it doesn't leak. What, what if it does leak? I know. Has this and then say, it's full of water. Yeah. That's it's not going to be full. We'll just make it up to that point. But <laughs> It's going to be a lot of water that has to come out could be a problem. I think we'll set it, we'll put water in there, uh -huh. and it won't leak, and then we can just finish our job. Because okay. that's how things usually go. No leaks. So I think we're ready to start gluing some fittings on. Some what? Some fittings. I thought you said footings. Fittings. I thought you said footings. Do you want to glue footings not, on there? We're not pouring a pad. We're plumbing. We need to be sponsored by Stanley and have 30 tape measures everywhere. <laughs> Just like stuck to our yeah. bodies. We need to vest with like <laughs> 10 tape measures. Never have a tape measure when you need it. I think we should show this really cool invention that we came up with. We're improvising again, guys. <laughs> Look took, at it. We took three of these and screwed them together into one tall one. I'm still not going to stick my hand down there when we need to turn that. Uh, we can get one of those stick turner things. Now, I mean, it's not quite tall enough, which kind of bugs me, but I'm not sure. I think it'll be fine. I think it's gonna be just fine. Okay. 
We can grade the soil around it, you know. It'll just pull up on top of it. Though. Yeah, okay, so we need to spray the crack. We need to spray your crack. <laughs> we need to spray the crack. Yep. And then we can fill this in with soil, right? Yeah. And turn our attention to a pump house. <sighs> that would be awesome. Yeah. I want to build a pump house. I want to move up here. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You see that? We got really lucky that we made that little coupler long enough. We almost couldn't open the valve. <laughs> Can you imagine if we like put it all together? And we covered it all back we up? We covered it, and then we went to open it for the first time, and uh... we can't move it. <laughs> that would have been bad. Does this mean we get to fill it in? Yeah. Plumbing is done for the point that we're at now. Yeah. So we we ran the pipe that will eventually come up into our pump house. Yep. We yeah. did talk to Rick at Oasis Water Harvesting, and he said as long as you backfill it with sand and make sure there's no sharp rocks, it should be fine. As long as it's, we don't want to go over three foot, like which we didn't. So. Yeah, we dug it at three feet because we knew that. Yep. Um, so yeah, when we put it in, we'll just try to make sure we're not putting any big rocks in that would push against the side of the tank. So it's time to fill it in. We're gonna fill this hole. Yeah. And then we'll have one last hole up here. Yay. We were going to quit, but looks like it's gonna rain. So we're gonna do our best to hook up this pipe here that's gonna feed from the gutters up to the tank. So hopefully we can catch some rainwater if it actually rains. I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. Paper stacks, yeah, I got them in the bundles. Harry Potter breaking bread with the muggles. They said I wouldn't make it, now they looking puzzled. They said I wouldn't take it, how to go and hustle. Get the bag, it ain't never get fumbled. In the jack, but we came up from the bottom. Through the cracks of the light pour in.
I just, you know how confusing the four inch fittings are for measuring. Yeah, but guess who did it? We did it. Uh huh. Now I can paint it. Yeah. And get it all done. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> I will. Another momentous occasion. We are taking down, first we're taking down these clotheslines, but the posts that hold the clotheslines are coming down. This was one of our first projects that we did when we moved out here, but we're gonna be using these posts to build our pump house. So we gotta get them taken down first. Tool time. Jonathan's going to use a circular saw because last time we tried the chainsaw and the chain kept getting loose and it was very annoying. It doesn't help that it's at a weird angle. It's also six inches so we have to cut like every side and that's still not deep enough so we're gonna have to come back with a handsaw to finish it off. Or we'll just break it. I don't think we'll do that. Yes we will. Your next 
mission. Go put these in the garage. Where I will find them later. Okay. Noise. <laughs> 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 